Hi everyone, I'm Andy Collins and I've spent most of this Christmas holiday making a robot that can track my movement using my hands and the Microsoft Xbox Kinect sensor. So what I've done is I've used LabVIEW 2012 with the help of Lauren Pico and Ollie Payton and the very kind people at National Instruments uh, gave me a Next Mindstorms kit which is really really cool. So I've got two Nexts together, I had one previously I've put them both into LabVIEW 2012. I'm running the University of Leeds Toolkit, which is on the National Instruments site, uh, I believe, or it should still be. And I've just made a motion tracking robot. I'll put all the code up very shortly, but I'll just show you how it works. There's a couple of glitches to begin with, as there always are. Okay, so it starts with three zeros. Let's get some tracking going. Now, my right hand controls the robot. So it's a bit sensitive. So I'm just going to turn the gains down a bit. Uh, the gains are on the program, so all of this should be... There we go. That's better. So I'm using my right hand as an X, Y, Z coordinate in the free space that's plotted on here. You'll see it on the code. If I raise my hand up and down, left and right, and forwards and backwards, raises that Z axis. Um, I could alternatively make a robot that used the spindle. So for the claw, I'm using the second next, and I'm using my up and down hand as the grabber. Now there's a, there seems to be a bit of cross talk there, which is a bit of a problem, but... And that, that's about it really, so I'll put the code up. Um, I've had a lot of help from people on the internet. Um, and, and really I just want to sort of put this code back out there because it might help people like me who are just getting to grips with LabVIEW for the first time. So uh, I hope you uh, play with it and have a good time with it and don't waste hours of time trying to come up to speed on it like I do. Okay, thanks.